Hi, talking about updating the image transmission module for the Weeble S system. Make sure that you have the transmitter on and the remote control unit on because you can't update the receiver without using the transmitter. So make sure that uh, this is both on and connected. And then when you get the command prompt on your phone, you update thus updating both units the new low latency update for the image transmission model now vastly improves the latency I'd, if I put the monitor in front of the camera and it's going through the image transmission to connect to the phone if I move along see if the image transmission is very very sh short delay on this and because of that you can now apply the um, active or visual tracking on this and it should improve the visual tracking response time here's a demo of the visual tracking with the gimbal roughly around about a meter and a half distance away from the subject you can also adjust the tracking speed via the tracking option in the gimbal menu. To improve the response time through this handle, you just go and tap down and then adjust to the um, tracking option and then you get a list of uh, lens focal lengths and I find that somewhere between 24 and 35 millimeters seems to improve it um, anybody who's got longer lenses might want to try the uh, other values here the new update also allows the image transmission to transmit audio signals as you can see here we have the uh, camera settings here and here we get the options to have uh, low and high quality video transmission as well as the option of putting audio in low and high quality audio transmissions if I just um, put in audio and turn up the volume you'll hear feedback on this uh, system because the camera is quite close as you can see uh, just wanna turn down and then to mute it just uh, opt for a camera setting with no audio this is actually quite good for live streaming and to transmit audio to the remote system this system also improves the functionality of um, this app as I found out that um, if I tap and add LUTs to the system where you add LUTs to the SD card so it can transmit to the image transmission or the play app and tap in add LUT and then add LUT from the SD card it should come up with the LUTs on your SD card as you can see here and if I um, I've already loaded this but I, if you tap on a few and then download with this yellow button you should um, see some um, LUTs in your menu as you can see here so I can get different colors um, this is a demonstration of the motion control 
there is a slight delay as you can see but it seems to be good enough and pulling focus with this remote system is good enough as well as the video response and this is a monitor of the receiver unit as you can see um, response time is improved from the uh, receiver and there's no glitchiness except for the TV but uh, that's the TV but as you can see it seems to be working fairly well so in conclusion this new update has improved the image transmission signal well enough for you to pull focus at a distance and to use active tracking at a close distance. I hope that this video helps you with your Weeble S. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.